guys welcome to my channel so today i'm going to tell you how am i going to use my unused lipsticks so these are some lipsticks which i'm bored of and which i do not use they also include some lip balms and uh, i absolutely love this baby lips lip balm but you know i have completed it and the last end is remaining which i thought of melting so that you know it can be used in some ways and i have these elatine lipsticks which i actually got it for using it but uh, i got bored of the color because now it's you know we have all started using matte lipsticks and you hardly like to use glossy lipsticks anymore so i personally do not like this moisturizing thing which is in between of these elatine lipsticks uh, which is kind of boring and i don't like it so i'm you know planning to melt these as well this is an orange shade there was a time when i used to absolutely love orange but now i don't so i'm going to use all these five lipsticks and lip balms there are two lip balms and three lipsticks in order to melt it and use it and also i'm going to use this tweezer in order to pluck any excess lipstick that is there in the tube and i'm going to use this particular thing to break the lipsticks and to, to uh, there's another side to it which will help me to take out the lipsticks completely so the first which i'm going to take out is the orange tinted lipstick which i have with me which is from the brand called elatine so i have now opened the lipstick and i'm first using a plucker let's see if i can pluck this out but i find it hard so i have broken it into pieces so um, I'm just taking everything out in this, this particular box so that it is easy to melt in the microwave oven. Uh, this plucker is kind of difficult because I'm not able to take things out very very easily with this. So I'm going to keep this aside and I'm going to use the spatula instead. So now I'm going to take all the lipstick which is there inside in this particular pot and oh my gosh look at it it's so creamy and so glossy and it can be anything that you a girl looks out for elatine's lipsticks are always better it is always good it gives you that nice tinted lip shade but somehow i just got bored of this lipstick i'm using it now for more than an year and i was not able to complete it uh i was unable to use it further so that's the reason I just decided to use it this way. So alright, I have almost taken all the lipsticks from out from the Elitine. As you can see it in the camera. There's nothing remaining. So I'm going to close it. And I'm going to go for another one. Which I have in the shade pink. It is, I used to love this color. But now it is very less. So I'm planning to break this as well. So, people who love pink would be disheartened when I just break this lipstick. But guys, you always need to have better things in your plate with time. I always wanted to do this video because whenever I used to see people breaking out their lipsticks and making it to a new one, I used to feel, get very excited and I used to think someday I will... You know do the same to my lipsticks because I got bored of them and today is when I got this time to actually do this work because I have the right spatula with me which can you know help me in taking out all the lipstick that I have inside the tube and it also helps me to clear the tube very very easily so I have put this pink lipstick also oh my god there was a lot of lipstick inside Alright, so since I'm now done with this, I'm going to go ahead with an another lipstick or a lip balm you may say. It is a tinted lip balm which is from Lakme and this is again in the shade, you know, it is peachish in color if you guys can see it and it has this, in between it has this uh, white color moisturizing thing which I generally do not like. So I'm going to, it, it looks like my Lakme, it looks like my... Elatine orange lipstick. I'm going to just mix both of these here and it has this uh, lip balm inside so it is going to keep my lips hydrated and moisturized as well and I have too many undertones of orange and pink lipstick so I'm kind of you know 
not liking to use it any further so I just thought why not to mix my other lipsticks to an orange to another tone so I'm just taking this out all my lipsticks are quite pigmented I just love that I think I've always taken a lipstick which is pigmented enough which looks great and yeah I have took this out as well next lipstick which I'm going to take uh, on my plate is not a lipstick actually it is a lip balm it's the Maybelline lip balm which I'm going to add a little bit not much but a little bit so I'm going to use the other side of my spatula just to add a little bit of Maybelline lip balm because it's left only this much so I'll just add this as well in the plate I'm going to have a lot of lipstick after melting I believe so I've just added this Maybelline lip balm oh, it smells awesome Maybelline always gives you the best lip balm see I have taken this stuff out and it's easy for me to prick it inside and take all the lip balm out so yeah, I'm not left with anything it's just the color that I'm left with and I'll be you know after melting all the lip balms or the lipsticks I'll be again putting the shade in this particular Maybelline pot because point number one it's cute and point number two is it has that nice tight closing so which I like otherwise your lipsticks get open very very easily and while freezing them I do not want the lipstick to open so I'm going to use this because once you like it gets closed really tight so after this I'm going to since I told you people that there I do have a lot of orange and pink tinted shades and I'm bored of it now so I'm going to mix a little bit of brown into it because I have got bored of using brown shades I do not like using brown shades and that is the reason I'll be choosing brown shade just to have a mix over it so that I get a new beautiful neutral color I'm going to use it very less because brown is always empowering and it is like always over the top so it will just add a little bit of drama into my lipstick that's it yeah I'm going to add a little bit more because I think the quantity of the lipsticks which I have dropped in the pot is higher than that of the brown shade that I have taken so I've added a little bit more I'm going to just close all my lipsticks and I'm going to first take a swab to, to just clean all the stuffs that I have kept here so at this stage I'll be just mixing all my lipsticks in this way and as you can see there are the corners are still there so I'm going to put everything in the center of the pot so that when I melt it it doesn't get melted on the corners or sides of the pot so I'm going to put it in between as you can see it shows it's already looking so very beautiful alright so this is how the lipstick pot looks in right now because I have taken everything in the middle of the pot next what we are going to do is we are going to clean one of the lipstick tube in order to you know set our lipstick after melting it so I'm going to here use two things and that would be a baby lips empty tube and a tissue paper and I'm also going to use a cotton swab so that I can take the excess out really very easily and you know clean it from inside so as you can see all the pigment is over the cotton swab which I have right now and I'm going to clean it further using the tissue as well so I'm going to place the tissue here and I'm going to turn the cotton swab and I'm going to clean it from the other side so this is how I'm going to make it clean until the tube has any pigment inside it okay so now I have almost cleared the tube it looks empty and now I'm going to melt my lipstick which looks like this 
uh, and I'm going to put that in the pot. So come, let's melt it together. All right, so my lipstick is ready to get melted. I'm just going to place it in the oven right here for three seconds. And I'll be just putting as as, not for three seconds even, it would be for 30 seconds. So after 30 seconds, my lipstick looks like this. As you can see, it's quite melted and I'm going to mix it together. I'm not going to uh, melt it for any more time uh, depending upon the texture of the lipstick I think that this much would be enough but only if I mix it I can come to a conclusion whether I will have to melt it a little bit more or not because every lipstick has a different texture where lip balm gets melted very quickly and very very easily lipstick takes a little bit of time to melt so I think I will have to put it in the oven for a little bit more time probably for 15 seconds so that it can be smoothly melted and it will not form any lumps so right now as you can see the pigment is stuck to my spoon and I do not want that so I'll be just mixing it and I'll be keeping it again for 15 seconds so I again placed it in the oven for 15 seconds and now my lipstick is melted very very nicely it's able to mix really nicely and the texture is forming so after melting this and after mixing this I'm going to just put it in the container and we will freeze it so as you can see every lipstick from the spoon also is now coming out very very easily the texture is creamy and because of you know I have added that brown color shade into it it looks absolutely stunning so I'm just waiting to apply it now once it freezes so after just mixing it properly we'll just have to freeze it so now the lipstick is properly mixed and melt and I'm going to quickly add it in my cylindrical pot so that it sets in right here very very easily and smoothly I just added one drop of it right now and to set it you can kind of do this and then pour rest of the lipstick again you can find it heavy for the first time but once you just dab it further you'll find that it's getting set So this is the final outcome of the lipstick. This is how it looks like. So I have set it in the freezer for 5 to 10, 10 minutes and this is the final outcome. Uh, I feel that the lipstick is well moisturized because I have added a lot of lip balm. So instead of being glossy now, it is going to look very moisturized. So I am going to squash a bit on my hands and show it to you how, what the final outcome is. So as you can see, it looks perfect nude. and. Now I will not be hesitant to apply this lipstick and now I got a new lipstick in my palette. So I am very very happy about it. If you also like this video do not forget to subscribe to my channel and give a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching guys.